Don't forget that I'm giving away an entire sneaker collection of shoe trees. All you have to do to join is subscribe to this channel, turn your post notifications on, leave a like on this video, and also comment down below saying I want to win the giveaway. Hey yo, what's good you hypebeats? It's your boy Sneakers. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. And since you're down there, you might as well give this video a thumbs up because today we are going to be reviewing this package right here. So here we have the receipt for authenticity, you know, in case anybody wants to try me, it's right there. And here we have the box. Yes, it is a Jordan 1 and of course you guys already know. It is a Jordan 1 Off-White UNC. So the box for these Off-Whites are a little different. Instead of having to take the lid off, oh, I almost saw it, I don't wanna see it yet. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Like, apparently the lid of this box is not normal. You grab this and it opens up right here. There is one more tab that doesn't wanna open and this one's already ripped, so I might as well just rip it open, I don't care. It's not gonna decrease the value of the, of the whatever, of the sneaker, the box. It's still gonna be the same price because the box is still the same. And the box came like this, so the buyer can't even try me if they try to buy it and tell me, oh, I already opened it. No, I didn't open it. It came like this, bro. And this is your video for reference. And let's get right into it, guys. Let's go ahead and open it. And there you have it, the off-white ones. I know the ring light's kind of messing it up. I can't believe I have these. Like, this sneaker is hella difficult to get. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the lid. I unfortunately got a size seven and a half, even though I'm normally an eight. The only reason I got that is because it was the last size available for me. So when you get into the box, the packaging is a little different from any Jordan 1 box. Instead of having paper, you do have like this clear, transparent paper. Not paper, but it's like a material. What are the materials, yo? You stupid. This sneaker has hella new materials that I've never seen on sneakers because you know, it's off-white, it's unusual. I apologize in advance. So when you lift the first tab up, you can see there's some lettering on it. So it says off-white for Nike Air Jordan 1 Beaverton, Oregon. Oregon. Beaverton, Oregon, which is where the sneakers came. Well, they weren't, they didn't come from Oregon. They actually came from Tennessee, which even says it on the box. But that's where Nike's originated from, 1985, which is either the date that Nike was made or, no, definitely, Ni Nike was not made in 1985, I don't think. Neither was off white. That's the date that Nike was made. Correct. Boy, if you don't get corrected myself, look at that. Oh wow. Oh wow. And that's the first paper lift up. And the other paper, there really is nothing. It's just, I don't even know how to get that out. But anyways, let's not even worry about the paper anymore. Let's get into the actual sneaker. And holy crap, I actually have a pair of off whites in my hand. I've never had a single pair of off white Jordan. Not even Jordan 1, just off-white in general. I've never had them in my hands. And yo, look at that. This tag is actually a little different compared to the one that I came with the shirt. Yo, that is wild. I wore this shirt by accident today and I'm doing an off-white unboxing and it is an off-white shirt, you know. What are the odds? I did not do it on purpose, guys. I promise. That's just crazy. Going back to the tag, this tag is not the same kind. Like, this one's kind of matte on the back. The one that came with the shirt was all shiny. So going back to the sneaker, it does come with this white laces. And you also do get the other two laces that you saw in the box. You get orange laces that, of course, say shoelaces on them. And you get blue laces that have shoelaces on them, but except that they're in white. On these ones, I'm sure it says shoelaces as well, except it's in black lettering. On the inside, I'm surprised. Oh, she's getting a little tag. It says made in China. So you do know they were made in China. It wasn't made in like Italy, which is where I think Off-White originates like their clothing and stuff. The tongue is still the same compared to regular Jordan 1s, except instead of saying Nike Air in the middle here, it is on the side here and it is in an orange font. And it does match the orange stitching and patch that's right here and the little orange stitching that's on the front of the Nike swoosh. And what's crazy is that the Nike swoosh is 100% detached from the sneaker it is only held on by the orange stitching except i think the back right here might be glued on a little bit that's a dope concept i would love it actually if jordan started doing that actually no i actually don't i actually hope they just keep it exclusive to off whites because it is what separates the shoe and not only that but every little detail in this sneaker is what separates this shoe from a regular off jordan off jordan yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's what separates the sneaker from regular well yo i can't speak today bro it is what separates the shoe from any regular Jordan 1. And the only reason I got that right is because I read Jordan 1 right here. So yeah, going onto the inside, you do have the stamp again. It says Off-White for Nike. Air Jordan 1, which is obviously the model of the shoe. Beaverton, Oregon, of course, where they originated in 1985, which is when Nike was made. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Nike was made around that time because that's Jordan era. Oh, wow. Yo, I'm getting good at this, bro. I'm getting good at these facts, dog. You stupid. So going onto the details of the shoe, we do have the toe panel in that powder blue. The same color, of course, as the school UNC, which which is where Michael Jordan came from. Well, he didn't come from UNC, but that is the college that he went to, and unfortunately, FSU fans are not big fans of them. The leather does follow up along the laces of the shoe, and also the Nike swoosh is leather as well, and like I said, it was hanging freely. We do have these wings on both sides of the sneaker, 
that aren't held down. Usually they're held down by glue or stitching. Actually, it is held down by stitch. Yo, the details on the sneakers insane, bro. So usually these flaps are held down by stitching and they do say 85 for the year that Nike was made. Yo, if I'm wrong about that, like correct me please. I'm gonna sound stupid for the rest of the video because that's what I'm assuming it is. You stupid. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this review, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So as I was saying, these flaps are actually held down by nothing. Normally they are held down by stitching. As you guys can see those holes right there, those little perforations. That's usually where this stitching goes to hold this flap down. And I'll show you guys that on my Jordan ones that I have. Luckily, because I came very limited on this trip. Look at Linda. For dinner. Linda. So as you guys can see on this bread one, the stitching does go around that area and it goes all the way around to the other side. And that is what's being mimicked here. However, Virgil, he decided to design it without it being stitched down, which is pretty impressive. And I honestly think it gives a way better look to the sneaker because you do have these flaps and you can put more detail on the sneaker like that 85, which yo, that's honestly some crazy detail in my opinion. And up here, I think it's supposed to be closed off, but it is cut open. And that's another detail that Virgil decided to put on the sneaker, which is honestly super freaking dope. Like normally it would be like this, but they did cut like a quarter inch off the top and it shows the inside of the sneaker, which is why you see this foam right here. That's what's actually inside of here right now, but it is closed off with this leather and also this inline mesh. Yo, I'm honestly super impressed by the details of this sneaker. Like I don't want to sell this shoe now because of how crazy it is. Going on to the toe box, we do have this transparent material. I don't know exactly what you're supposed to call this, but you can still see the holes for your breathability on your toes, you know, in case you sweat a lot. And you do have the same material over here on the side behind the Nike swoosh. And on the inside, you do have it a little bit right here. You have like a little hint, but right here it is leather and it carries onto the back. And then it switches onto like this suede nubuck material that you see right here. And instead of having the same color stitching going throughout the whole sneaker, he puts some blue there, some orange there, some white right here. And he even did take off the stitching off the top flap right here which obviously gives it more detail like yo i'm honestly super impressed by the sneaker like i said i've never seen an off-white in person and the details are just insane oh and i forgot to mention there is the perforations of the swoosh right here as well like it was supposed to be stitched on and there is also perforations on this side as well but it stops right there since they did cut out this center piece you do have a regular jordan one midsole other than the fact that you have the air stamp right here it does make the sneaker pop and say that it's an off-white jordan one and if we go to the outsole we do have a regular jordan one outsole and it is in that powder blue again because it is a unc colorway we do have a regular cardboard shoe tree which i wish they could have done something different with it because you know it is off-white however the price tag is not as high so i understand the fact that they didn't if we go on the insole right here i'm going to try to take it out it looks like it's very well glued in like i can't even get my finger under this to get it out we do have nike air branding in there and also if you look in the inside there's like some textured triangles that is debossed out of the actual insole why that is there i don't know i'm gonna guess it's just for texture of your foot maybe i don't know if somebody knows why that's there please let me know because i'm actually curious unfortunately i'm not going to be doing an on feet review due to the fact that i don't know if i'm going to keep these like i honestly love the shoe i love the sneaker however i've told you guys in the past i'm not a big fan of blue and powder blue honestly this is a hard sneaker to match with i know i do have some yeezys that have like this colorway on it. it is i think the blue tints however i barely wear those and i know i'll probably barely wear these like i would love to have in my collection but my mentality has changed and it's not something i'm going to get into this video but i am going to get back into reselling which is something I want to announce and this is probably a good start to that journey I'll get into my whole resale mentality on another video I don't want to get into this one because this one's already getting really long and I just wanted to make it strictly on the review on this sneaker if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to give a video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe we are trying to get to 30,000 subscribers by the end of tomorrow and we're like 200 subscribers away and I know we can do this so please hit the subscribe button share the video with your friends and also don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think about this sneaker do you guys like this colorway or do you guys like the other colorways better I personally am a bigger fan of the Chicago colorway Way. however the sneakers still dumb nice so i still have to contemplate on keeping it or not today's fan of the day does go to hype beast if you want to be fan of the day all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel turn your post notifications on and also leave a positive comment down below so anyways guys until next time make sure you guys keep grinding it's your bar so you're signing out